as the flags are raised. Ted, that off. In the Group 1 Cairn Community Games, Pretty Polly Stakes, eight fiddies, racing over to mile two. A strong British challenge, it is Lumia Rock, who leads the end of a furlong. Francophone on the inside, disputing second place with Stay Alert, tracked by Blue Stocking, and then Emily Upjohn, who looks settled, and then Maxis, Tasmanian content, the final couple, as Lumia Rock builds up an early lead of Two and a half lengths, racing together two and three, Francophone and Stay Alert, followed by Blue Stocking and Emily Upjohn. These are followed by Tasmania as they climb up towards the seven furlong point. It's Lumia Rock. Showing in the lead from Stay Alert, Francophone, Emily Upjohn improves on the outside of Blue Stocking. These are followed by Tasmania, Maxis and Conten. Lumia Rock. Dylan Brown McMonigal, gathered in by Emily Upjohn and Kieran Schumach, who are now racing on terms. Behind them, Francophone Joe Fanning on the inside of Stay Alert. And David Egan, followed by Blue Stocking, who's now racing in fifth on the Russell Ryan. Tasmania, Luke Morris next on the outside of Maxis and Mikey Sheehy in trading the field is Content and Ryan Moore. So well past the halfway stage as they make the descent for their home straight. Lumia Rock joined by Emily Upjohn and third a length back stay alert than Francophone. Next is Blue Stocking now shaken up to close as they hit the straight. Less than three furlongs to go in the Cairn Community Games Pretty Polly Stakes Group 1 and it's Emily Upjohn looming on the outside of Lumia Rock kicking away from stay alert. They're followed by Blue Stocking. Francophone falls away then Content Tasmanian Maxis but opening up with over a furlong to go is Emily Upjohn from Blue Stocking who sets off in pursuit but a good three lengths down then Lumia Rock who can't give any more stay alert and content it's Emily Upjohn from Blue Stocking slowly but surely closing with every single stride and it's time to perfection by Blue Stocking makes the breakthrough at group one level in the pretty party running down Emily Upjohn and then content who stayed on into third place a delighted Russell Ryan after being victorious in blue stocking for Ralph Beckham. Fascinating stuff, and Blue Stocking has justified that welter of market support that leaving her all the way down to 11 to 10 as they jump from the stalls to win. But how hard did she have to work to master Emily Upjohn, who by contrast could not be given away in the betting beforehand? but nobody had told her that she couldn't win. She made a right bold fist of it. Must have gone very short in running. Yeah, she looked a likely winner, Gary, when she took it up off Lumiere Rock inside the two furlong marker. And when Kieran Schumacher asked her to go on, she's really quickened and put a, a, a what, three lengths between herself and her rivals. Blue Stocky had been, been niggled along by Ross Ryan before the home turn, but she's really responded. And she even, even on the run to the furlong marker it didn't look like she had enough ground left in the race to get Emily Upjohn but she's dug deep and just had that surge around about the furlong